Here we are back again with another artist from Tunisia who was on the channel just I think two weeks ago. It's Stu and Stu released a new song. It's 16 hours online. It's called Kadech Men Mara. Official music video. I had a recommendation under one of my videos for this song and the person who recommended me told me he tried something new, a new style. I'm very excited to see a new style by this artist and you're gonna see my reaction after the intro. Mach dir keine Sorgen, packe sie in Worte, zerschmetter deine Leiste, funktioniert nach keinem Pasta. If you never want to miss out any new reaction on North African rap and music, please sub to the channel and hit the bell. Let's go with the song, it's short. Maybe the reaction will be short, we will see. Bro, I have a feeling what you mean with new style and I don't know if I like it. When the beat started, I was very hopeful. I was like, I like the the string instrument. I like uh, how the background music sounds. But when his voice came in, I was like, no, no, please not. Please don't do this. I mean, you know that I don't like autotune. If you're watching this channel, at least for a little bit. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take it back. I'll take it back. You know, the thing is, Okay, they use autotune, but on the other hand, he's singing so fast and with such a nice rhythm that I like how it sounds. Because uh, he's basically doing double time singing instead of double time rap, if that makes sense in a way. Okay, okay, I'm fine with it. Do like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that, but what he did before was pretty cool. He's really fast. He's really fast with his syllables right there. And I think we should appreciate the fact he's so good at what he's doing. He's a phenomenal rapper. If he tries out some melodic stuff, okay, do it. If you do it in this way, I'm fine with it. Because uh, I see that you put in some skills and some effort there, you know. Yeah. And nice chain rhymes. I think the rhymes should be mentioned right here because they were really strong in this last part especially. Hey, I'm telling you, this kind of have it has these vibes of of these Latin uh, Latin America vibe, like South South America, like these are the vibes. They're not always like maybe it's the uh, the string instrument, but I think the whole thing is like it has this ease. It is so light. It is somehow it is uh, moving along, you know, and I'm moving along as well. So it has this positive effect on me that I personally like when I listen to music. Not every song has to be positive. Uh, regarding on which subject and, and topic we're talking about but this is good for for chill out and stuff this is good if you don't want to have a heavy topic this is what you're going for <laughs> 
But I want to be honest, like these slow parts where he's basically singing like a lot of singers would do like usual rhythm, usual pace. Uh, I don't really think it's strong. Like um, we know that Stu is a phenomenal rapper and it's often like that when a rapper is trying to sing, when he switches like the genres. Uh, for me it happens like that I think um, the artist should stick to the rap because at least if the rapper is really really good at what they're doing usually then I don't understand why they switch in and um, for example doing singing when they are not the greatest singers of the world and um, I do this myself that I sometimes sing my hooks or I sing small parts in my songs but I try to keep it short I try to keep it uh, like I don't make a full song like Stu for example where I'm just singing because I personally think that would sound whack like if I would do it so this is the reason why I think man yeah like similar to what El Grande Toto did in his new song um, that wasn't like, that didn't convince me 100% as well, because we know El Grande Toto is a phenomenal rapper, but suddenly he's switching genres and then this happens, you know? I don't know. Okay, I like the beat drop right there. I like the beat drop. Um, yeah, so my opinion, the verse was strong. Some of these ad-libs really... Ah, I don't like them. I don't really don't like them. The hook, in my opinion, not strong. But uh, yeah, the verse was what got me personally, uh, where I would say it was really good. The music video... I, I don't know if you call this like a real music video. It was like you can record this probably in an hour or so. Um, but we can make simple projects from time to time. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, I mean... The beat is good. The beat is really good. Uh, yeah, nice, nice production right there. And I especially like, I don't even like the drums that much. I especially like the string instrument like this. This almost sounds like a traditional string instrument. That's an awesome instrument right there. Uh, we can like uh, mix master directed and edited studio. Yeah. I mean, you can see already that there's not really a big team behind this, so it's not the most expensive project of all time. We know that. Um, if you want to check out some of my own music, you can do this right here on screen. Thank you very much if you do so. I appreciate that a lot. Right above, you can find my latest reaction on Stu. As I said, he was on the channel just before. I uh, usually go on his new song, so you will probably see me going on his new releases in the future. If you want, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'm out.